here at 10, several of the Miami Valley's colleges and universities are still weighing their options for the fall semester in way of COVID vaccines. Two News reporter Caroline Morris is live at the University of Dayton tonight with more on what may be required of Miami Valley students this fall. Local universities are encouraging students to get vaccinated. However, Rutgers University has made it mandatory for in-person students this fall to get a vaccine. However, Miami Valley health leaders across the area believe this could become a trend among colleges and universities. By summer's end, we're probably going to be seeing many more institutions and other organizations outside of academia following suit as well. Days after Rutgers University made it mandatory for fall in-person students to get vaccinated, Miami Valley Hospital health leaders say they expect more universities across the country to follow suit. It's, uh, it's the first public university that's made this choice, and I think it's not going to be the last. You're going to be seeing more and more institutions likely making this mandatory, and I think it'll become much more common as we move forward through the year especially after the FDA, at whatever point, grants full FDA approval for these vaccines. A statement from the University of Dayton reads, the university strongly encourages everyone on campus to be fully vaccinated. We will assess the level of vaccination protecting our campus community as we make decisions about class size and gatherings in the fall. UD students Jenna Malloy and Allison Riley share different opinions. Jenna is getting vaccinated while Allison will not, but agree that the decision should be left up to the students themselves. I mean, I'm staying on campus and I'm not getting the vaccine. I would say it's important to get the vaccine if like you have a condition where COVID would really affect you. But if you don't, then I don't really think it's very important to get it. Both Wittenberg University and Sinclair Community College have encouraged people or students to get vaccinated. Live in Dayton, I'm Caroline Morse. Two news working for you.